Hello everyone, welcome to watch this video. In this video, we will teach you how to use C language to program on the Arduino UNO development board to read the data of MPU 6050. First, let's learn what is MPU 6050. About MPU 6050, MPU 6050 is the world's first integrated six axis motion checking device. It integrates a three axis MEMS gyroscope, a 3-axis MEMS accelerometer, and a Scable Digital Motion Processor DMP. We can use an I2C interface to connect a third-party digital sensor, such as a magnetometer. After expansion, it can output a 9-axis signal through its I2C or SPI interface. SPI interface is only available on MPU 6000. MPU 6050 can also connect non inertial digital sensors through its I2C interface, such as pressure sensors. The MPU 6050 uses three 16 bit ADC for the gyroscope and accelerometer, respectively, and it converts the analog quantity into a digital quantity that can be output. The gyroscope can measure angular velocity and the accelerometer can measure acceleration. In order to accurately check fast and slow movements, the measurement range of the sensor is controllable. The gyroscope measurement range is plus minus 250, plus minus 500, plus minus 1000, plus minus 2000 degree per second and the accelerometer measurement range is plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8, plus minus 16 g gravity acceleration. The MPU 6050 has an on-chip 1024 byte FIFO which helps reduce the system power consumption. It communicates with all device registers using 400 kHz I2C interface. In addition, a temperature sensor and an oscillator with only plus minus 1% variation in the working environment are embedded on the MPU 6050 chip and there are programmable low-pass filters. When it comes to power supply, the MPU 6050 module can support VCC operating voltage range of 3 to 5 VDC. After learning what is MPU 6050, then let's start operating. We need to connect the MPU 6050 and Arduino UNO development board according to the connection method of the circuit diagram. The VCC pin of the MPU 6050 is connected to the 5 volt interface on the Arduino UNO development board. The GND pin is connected to the GND interface on the Arduino UNO development board. The SCL pin is connected to the SCL interface on the Arduino UNO development board. The SDA pin is connected to the SDA interface on the Arduino UNO development board. Then use the USB cable to connect the Arduino UNO development board to the computer. After connecting, open the installed Arduino software on the computer and open the code program of this course by clicking File in the upper left corner. In the setup function, start the data transmission of the MPU 6050 through while. Dot begin transmission. Open the serial monitor with the serial dot begin. Read the data of the MPU 6050 with the get motion 6 function in the for loop and accumulate the data. 
After the for loop, the data is averaged to obtain a standard value. In the loop function, the count six axles function calculates the x, y, and z axis data of the MPU 6050 angular acceleration through the Kalman filter algorithm. Let's click upload to see the experimental effect. You need to click the serial monitor button in the upper right corner of the Arduino software. In the open serial monitor, you can observe the x, y, and z axis data of the angular acceleration. When you swing the MPU 6050, this data will change accordingly. That's all. Thank you for watching and supporting. See you in the next video.